Welcome back to Iceland, our favorite place on earth. This was our third visit in less than a year, but this time we came during autumn and just for a weekend. And let's just say we weren't very lucky. To be honest, this trip was a bit of a challenge. We wanted to see what we could do in little more than 48 hours without limiting ourselves to Reykjavik. So, we rented the car and set out to explore the beautiful Golden Circle. The weather wasn't kind to us, but we still managed to do quite a lot. Join us as we revisit some of our favorite spots and discover some new ones. We've made it. We have our car. It's 2 a.m. Let's go to our hotel, please. <laughs> This is the weather that we have today. Fascinating. It's basically the same as yesterday. Yeah. It keeps on raining. No luck so far on anything really. The roundabout. Take the first exit onto Jovega One. Jovega. That was the most expensive shower and the nap that I've ever taken. Hello, little horses. Oh. My feet are soaked. Oh, that was amazing, as always. Okay, it was much fuller. Now, did you record the entrance? You didn't, did you? No, I didn't, because it was okay. uh, raining. Everybody was panicking because they couldn't get in. Yeah, and so. the current was very strong. There were barely any rocks we'd stand on or walk on to get in. But always worth it. It's 700 isk to park and you need to get one of these. So you just stop at these little boxes, you just press your card or your phone or contactless and then this thing prints and it's valid for 24 hours so you can come back if you want to. We still haven't gone behind the waterfall but there was a queue to get in like there's no way we're gonna wait. Going now to Skolafoss and we'll see you there. See this? That's when you know you're late. Right here. 
see dead birds already on the road is starting as soon as you start getting too big. Yeah, close to big. You start seeing them on the road. It's really depressing. Yeah. It's so sad. Please drive carefully. There are a lot of birds on the road. If you're not careful, you'll probably hit them. They so won't sad. Move. They won't move. They won't move. Yeah. This is what the Icelandic houses look like. We're not gonna see the house that we're going to buy. Oh it's really? <laughs> You're going to buy a house in Vic that I didn't why know not? about? Yeah, why not? Look at this screaming. Yeah. If that apple tart wasn't six pounds per slice, I would have had a second one. So good. And now we're going to the Vic Church. It looks very different from the last time we were here. Have I mentioned how much I hate store buses? Am I? Beloved Reni Sviara now, it is time. It's beautiful. Imagine living in there. It's so awesome. I would be happy with a tiny house here. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's nice. <gasps> Bottle! Ah. I don't I can plan, I can not believe it. <laughs> oh. I love seeing the colors of the moss and the grass here. They kind of turn into amber. They go from green to amber. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. Yes, the weather today is just not it. Not it. We're just turning to our little farm that we're staying in tonight. If this is the first video you're watching of us in Iceland, I have proof that the weather is not always like this. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, yeah, we're just unlucky today. Hopefully it will get better. I feel dirty water like a baby goat or a hamster. <laughs> Good. We found a waterfall <laughs> called Uridafoss. Probably mispronouncing that. Cool. It's a tiny room with a bathroom. That's what you get for 65 pounds, I guess. It's nice. I don't have courage to go outside again. It's raining, it's raining so, much. so, so much. The weather is so bad today. So I don't know if we're going to have dinner in the hotel because they have a restaurant or if we're just going to eat snacks. We'll see. <laughs>
to stop in Geyser. Mm -hmm. Just going to check it out today in the rain. Yeah, the Less. last time we were here it was really nice. Yeah, it was sunny and it was really pretty. Today is very cloudy and raining. So. But it's definitely worth stopping here, so yeah. let's go. Let's go. Holy shit! Guys, it was fun. <laughs> it's so crowded there now. I think it's best to go as early as possible because it gets really, really crowded. It's one of the last stops in the Golden Circle. You could also go to Gulfos, but we don't like it that much. If it's your first time in Iceland, I think, you know, you should go. And now we're driving to Reykjavik and we'll have lunch there. See you in Reykjavik. The autumnal colors here are so beautiful. It's all yellows and oranges, bits of red. I don't think the camera is doing it any justice. If you're in the area, you really need to go and see Oxararfoss. It's so beautiful. We saw it the last time we were here. We prefer it over the famous Gulfoss. It's a really powerful waterfall and the area that it's in, it's really, really beautiful. It's right in the rift between two continental plates. Lunch was amazing, I really recommend that place. It's not too expensive and it's traditional Icelandic food. Mm -hmm. We recommend the fish and chips, it's amazing. I love my soup as well. Ah, so good. And then we went to the bakery and we got a couple of things. And now we're going to our next hotel. And then, what are we going to do? Then we're going to Skallagun. Hopefully it's not going to be raining by the time we're there because we booked it later to see the sunset. Ooh, what sun. sunset? <laughs> The number is smaller. <laughs> oh, wow, we have a kitchen. Cool. This is amazing. It's awesome. Oh, Look at that drop. bunk bed. <laughs> the bathroom is so cool. Is it? So cool. I love the black tiles, it's so awesome. Proof that the weather is not always bad. Good morning Good from morning. Reykjavik. 
This is our last morning here. Our flight is at four. We're just going to explore a little bit more of the city. Maybe have some interesting food. Yesterday, we just crashed as soon as we got to the hotel. I think our GoPro was trying to teach us a lesson <laughs> to not always be filming things and taking photos. Yeah. Like, the sunset was insane. It was probably one of the best sunsets I've ever seen in my life. The purple waves, and then the clouds. Oh my gosh. It was good. It's magical. That lagoon is magical. I love it. Let's go and explore Reykjavik. Also, the sky is blue it's today. It's blue today, yeah. Beautiful. So good. And it was delicious. Which one was your favorite? My favorite was the mashed fish with egg and potatoes. For our Portuguese friends, it tastes like bacalhau a gomesa. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> On a <the> toast. <laughs> it's exactly it's really good. good. The rye ice cream is really, really good. Yeah, everything was delicious. It was not cheap, but nothing is cheap in Iceland. Nothing is cheap in Iceland, <laughs> so let's be prepared for it. Yeah. I think if you have time to climb up to the tower, it's probably really cool because you can see the whole city from there. But there was a massive queue to go, so it's a no for me. Also, it's being renovated, which is sad. Well, sad for us, but exactly. it's going to look really cool when it's renovated. It's going to look really nice on the inside and on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Good kitty! <laughs> oh, look at that fofinho! It's already been worth coming here. We've pet the cat. And it didn't scratch me, can you believe it? Mm -hmm. Are really cute. Oh. Psh, 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 psh. This park apparently has some little houses for elves, and that's why we came here. <laughs> Afnafjordur is meant to be the capital of Iceland elves. Let's see if we find any. <laughs> We found the little elf houses. Here they are. It was really cute. It's a really lovely park for the people that live here. And the town is so adorable. So many cute little houses. And there's friendly cats as well. Yeah, there's lots of friendly cats. If you have kids or if you've always wanted to see tiny elf houses, this is one of the places you can go. It's quite close to the airport or Reykjavik. the weather have to change to pure pure blue when we have to leave why it's so beautiful gorgeous day because last 
sein. I'm so itchy on my head. Why is it? Can you tell it's windy? It's so fucking windy, Jesus.